Hi, everyone. Uh, apologies for our delay. Uh, one of us got stuck in traffic, so um, <clears throat> hence the uh, our tardiness. I do apologise. No problem. Uh, but it's good to see everybody. Thank you for joining us again. And um, uh, obviously, I've got my best buddy here, Collins. And um, we're just going to have a little bit of a chat today and see where we go. But Collins, I'll, over to you, mate. I know there's something you wanted to add. Oh, Andy, thank you. Thank you for waiting. No, Andy, you've been waiting for really, really, I think almost 10 minutes. You know, I was really stuck in the traffic, you know, really having a busy day and it's not really easy. And I've been missing as well, you know, since Andy, you know, I've been really missing and really miss, you know, our show, Digital Blueprint Unveiling Success. It's true. We are here to unveil success. And, you know, I just want to, flashback you know on op360 i know one will be coming up tomorrow and we'll still hear a lot of stuff but i want to you know just going back to what i said you know we've seen a lot of updates you know maddie made an update red gave recap you know and other people also different webinars they, they spoke about ash and a lot of people called and they said it was really one of the best outing you know but i want to come back from where I was looking at the point Ash was trying to make, you know, so I can, we can say, all right, on passing out the best solution will be the beacon of hope, humanity, all of these things. That's what we are hoping for, Andy. You know, whilst I was listening to Ash that day, keenly, there was a lot of things that I said, which was really brilliant. But my take for that day, was about conscience. You know, for every any business to succeed, the, you must build the, the, the business in good hope, uh, good faith. We're talking about faith. You know, there must be something that is pushing Ash to do it. We're talking about, you know, when Ash came out, he said, I will not talk about my life because my life means nothing as compared to the billions of people living on this planet Earth. I'm just a single, you know, being. And I don't think I'm more important than others, you know. So he said, I will not go, you know, beyond that. I just want to talk about the six years and I explain a lot of things where on passive started, what has happened, and we will come back very powerfully. You know, I read a lot on Facebook. People were saying, but the things that I took, you know, I know I always go looking at the scriptures, People will go and read the scriptures from Gen from Genesis or chapter one, but they always lack the, 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 the end point. You know, the end and the conclusion always matter for me. When I made all those statements, he said, my conscience will not allow me to come here and lie to you guys. Lie that things will happen of which I know that it will not happen. For six years, coming here, telling us, giving us hope, faith, and he knows that, you know what, I'm talking about on passive, but there is nothing like that. It will never happen. He said, my conscience will not allow me. And to be honest with you, to be a good person, I like those who always search their conscience. I don't care, Andy, if you can do something and you're successful or you fail, it doesn't matter to me. But if you are doing that thing, anything you are doing, if there is a conscience behind you, because that is where you distinguish between good and evil. Evil people don't have conscience. Good people have conscience because we are judged by our conscience. You know, sometimes when you do something, Andy, remember when you go back home, you sleep, when you are alone, you know, on your bed top, you listen to yourself. You and you alone know that you are telling people the truth or you're telling them lies. Your conscience at that time is your judge. For Ash Mufara to come out and said, you can believe me or not. If I know I'm wasting your time coming here, telling you, giving you hope, hype everything up, my conscience will not allow me to do that. I will better come and tell you, you know what? This will never work. I'm sorry and I'm done. And I will go, you will never see me. A business where you will see the CEO, 
You know, we launched with open OES, you know, O Connect went out. Sometimes people think about O Connect, looking at O Connect only from the founder perspective and the affiliate because we came in to make something. That's where we judge. What about the thousands and hundreds of thousands of customers who came into Unpassive using our solutions? Have we ever think about that? Paying, not because they want to make money. They paid because they want to use O-Connect because they believe at that time O-Connect was more cheaper than Zoom. Let's, also, let, let's look, check the fact. You pay for three months, you use it for one year. We don't know how many companies use it. We don't know how many individuals use it just by paying once and they use it for one year before we had all these, these, these issues and we can name it and name it. There were, I know there were hundreds and even thousands of people who use it. They never use only O Connect, but they use O Trim as well for their businesses. Who feed food the bill is Mr. Ash Mufara and the team. We the affiliate, we didn't food any bill. We yes, we we we, we activate. That's true. We activated because we wanted something. Most of the, the founders they were hoping for something. But do you think about the the thousands and hundreds of thousands of customers who came in? And they pay for it once, and they were using this solution over and over. You know, we're talking about updating of this software where they are using updates of the application, building enhancement. What is happening? It costs the company a lot. Every time they run something like this, you know, it costs the company a lot based on hosting right of the data, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of data, hosting right. We're talking about hundreds of thousands or even millions a month. The company is paying that every month for one year and counting. Let me go back even from Go Founder to O Founders to OES. We never paid anything. We paid that time once. But the company was going through all of those transformations, which is a good thing. And for someone to sit and doubt it because of little hurdles. Because let's remember that in every good thing, you know, difficult times is always there. We have difficult, there is nobody who can put his finger up and say, when I started a business, everything was just smooth. If you tell, show me that person, I'll say you are a liar. Because we always end to celebrate success, but we never celebrate pain. You know, like someone told me, he said, when I am rich, somebody will ask me, how do you make your money? But when I'm poor, nobody come and ask me, where do you inherit your poor, your poverty? Nobody asks you that, Andy. When you are struggling, nobody will tell you, where is your poverty coming from? But when you are successful, they want to know where your success is coming from. We learn, tend to celebrate success and forget about hardship. You know, it's like a woman after 12 months pregnant, pain, going through all this, you know, all the pains. Women will know that. When they give birth, people come and celebrate. Oh. Beautiful boy, baby boy, beautiful baby girl. But no one celebrate can remember when this lady, this woman was in child labor. You know, but they celebrate. So we celebrate success. Sometimes let's learn to celebrate pain. You know, because only through pain, we can tell our stories. We can tell a lot of stories through pain. We can tell a lot of our, our stories through the struggle. You know. And there is something, even the scripture said, they always like it. They say the good of a man is written what? It's written on the surface of water, waters. So nobody will even read it. But one little error will happen, will do what? They will write it on a pillar, you know, brick. They will carve it very well, put it at the, the city, you know, the center of a city for everyone to read. So it means. People look at it and say, you know what, this man was rubbish, but ne nobody will ever look at your good. So now as on Passivian, this is the time we need to look at the positive side of unpassive. Look at when Mr. Ashraf said, my conscience will not allow me to come here and tell you something that I know it will never happen. Let us look at that part of conscience because I will all rather be with someone who is judged by his conscience and to be with someone, no matter what you put before me, you don't have any conscience. I don't want to assume myself with that type of people. I don't mind 
care if you fail. But once you know very well that I did this and this is what happened and I'm led by my conscience, I can still be with that person in other times when the person come up with something else. I say, you know what? This person, yeah, nobody can put your finger up and say, I've never failed. You know, people fail. It happens. Fail, failure is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. But how you pick yourself up, clean it up and go. But has Ompassi failed? No. It is still coming back strongly because the CEO is there. He's there every day talking to us. You know, other businesses, what will happen? You will not even know the CEO. They will disappear, vanish. And you will not even see them. Even from the beginning, because they started with evil intention, what will happen? We will not even know the CEO. We will only know those who brought us in. Who is the owner of this? No name. Because they know they can came, come back again with a different name and, and push the, everything, the button again, and people will go back again start to put their money. But thank God we know Mr. Ash Mufara. He is there every day, putting his face, talking about his family, talking about his journey, his story. So it is up to us now to look at it. Do you rather follow somebody with conscience? Or you follow someone with no conscience. It's up to us. So, Andy, I will throw it there. That's my take. Thanks, Colin. No, that's great. A great take. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that. And it's, it's. Um, my thoughts are very similar because, you know, throughout my career, certainly, um, it, it's been a, a a practice, if you like, um, that. It's not a practice. It's what everyone should do. You follow people that are um, that are winners, that are successful, and you copy what they do because that helps you to become successful. There is no point in following somebody if they've never done anything, if they've never achieved anything, if they've just given you constant negativity. But people do, and I could never understand that. It's not something that comprehends with me it's not something that i can understand um but i've seen it in it many times in certainly in in my career as in finance where you've followed somebody or you copied somebody that is um exceedingly good at their job and you very quickly as a newcomer get to understand who's good and who's bad and we do that in life as a natural, you know, we, we, uh, I'm, I'm certainly someone who tries not to judge straight away. I'd rather be able to, to take the time to learn and understand who they are first before I judge. Um, but you, it, it's very easy to find then people that are, are, um, genuine and good at what they do. And I think for me, certainly, listening to Mr. Mufara the first time was good enough for me. That You know, your head says something, your heart says something. And if they match, then you're on the right track. And I've, I've, I've thought that ever since because, exactly as you said, why would a successful man come back who who has a heart for humanity come back and not tell you the truth that doesn't make sense to me because at the end of the day you've got somebody who is there has a heart for humanity and wants to help everybody so he's going to tell you as it is now <clears throat> between you and me guys there's an awful lot he can't tell us because it is misconstrued by uh, a, a sizable group of people and that just creates more problems so he doesn't tell us everything which is great but most of us understand or now kind of speak mufara as they say and we understand a little bit more about what's going on in the background we understand a little bit more about you know what's been happening and and you're quite right collins at the end of the day he must have been through hell and 99.9% .9 of people that are early birds you could say would have given up a long long time ago and i guarantee 
that probably 99% of those that are part of are on passive, if they'd have known it was going to take this long, they wouldn't have become part of it. But I guarantee that when this thing goes viral, and it will, that 99.9% .9 of all of those that are part of on passive would go, do you know what? I'm glad I took part in the journey. And that for me is quite important because, and I feel sorry for those that are going to come on board at a later date and are going to make money. Great. No problem at all there, but they've missed out on this. They've missed out on following and going through the process that we've gone through. Um, okay, we haven't had the pain and we haven't had the, the setbacks that Ash has had in his business. What we have had is a very steep learning curve. Uh, and certainly for me being um, uh, non-technically minded, you know, I've learned a hell of a lot over the last six years and I don't regret that for one single moment. It's fantastic. Um, and I love the fact that you know, we learn a little bit more every day. We learn a little bit more every day and we get towards, we, we, we're still moving baby steps, but this time is important for us to be able to properly plan. You know, my phrase, proper prior planning prevents poor performance, all the P's. At the end of the day, we've got a, um, <coughs> a time, we've got a moment in time where we can, and should have been planning for when this goes into full effect. And and this means, for me, it's been um, bolstering the, the LinkedIn connections that I have. Okay, my Facebook was hacked. Um, unfortunately, I still haven't got that back. Uh, but there are other ways and means of collecting data for yourself for later. You know, even if you're going to send an email out. So... Every single spam email that I get, I keep. Because at the end of the day, I've now got somebody who's who's emailed me so I can email them back. Um, <clears throat> and sooner or later, they'll want to see what we have because we have products that are far better than those out on the market today and at a far lower price point, as we all know. So, you know... <clears throat> there are ways and means of being able to collect data. So don't waste this time, people. Make sure that you use it to the best of your ability to gain as much knowledge as you possibly can, but also plan your, your way forward. Plan your business because this is your business. And this is a business to end all businesses. You're not going to need anything else. So any further, or further or final thoughts you want to add, Collins? Yes, Andy, that was really good. Um, you know, you said all really, really well. One of the things I want to say, especially to founding affiliate, this is the time to encourage one another. Let us encourage ourselves. You see your brothers or your sister down. Encourage it like what Maddie said today. We are just one big family. It is part of the product of Unpassive. You know, the founding membership or the, let me call it the Unpassive community is part of you know, part of the product from passive. You know, when Ash sees out us, all of us, Ash is really happy. Maybe there are times that he is really down. He just said, oh, let me go and share, spend time with my family. You know, the, the family is, is, is who? The unpassive family. So we are his inspiration. You know, when he sees us, he says, all right, now I think I can ride on. You know, like Andy, sometimes remember when you are down and someone call you, you know, talk to you, motivate you, you have that, you know, that desire and that dreams, like there's an extra energy to say, you know what, I must say this true. But for those who have decided, because I know that I've received a lot of messages sometimes, oh, you know, we are, I'm discouraged. Oh, they, you know what? I always said, well, it's up to you. How many years have you been in? Yes, I think I've been in as well, as long as well, because it's I'm more than four years now. Four years, June make four, I think four years, six months. But I'm not crying because I know what is coming. I know it is not easy. I know there will be bottlenecks on the way. I know things like this, you can't just get it first time right. 
The only thing is perseverance. I'm not spending anything again. I have not asked me to say, bring this amount. We need something from you. The only thing I expect for me is just to wait. Remember, we talk about um, Alibaba. We, we can go back and look at the history of Alibaba, those who decide to go. But the secretary said, every day the secretary will come to Alibaba, you know, ask this man, ask the owner, how long? He said, do you know, you, do you know what? Just wait. Wait and wait. When Alibaba launched, what happened? That woman has hundreds and hundreds of millions of, of dollars. And he was crying. He's one of the CEO now. You know, Bali Baba, look at the history. Even there was something I read about Microsoft. 3,000 people, only 11 remained. The rest gave up. What is wrong waiting? I don't know. You know, sometimes we need to wait patiently. You know, we need to wait patiently because patience is the biggest key. You know, you, there is nothing. Costly. Sometimes we think about a lot of things. You think about our problem. If you were not in non-passive, your problem will still remain there. It will not change. You will still do what you are doing. Or maybe you will do it more. But let's say, yeah, there are things out here we see, we motivate, we we'll say, all right, on passive is there. We are hoping for something big coming. I know there is anxiety, but sometimes we need to take two steps back and say, okay. Mr. Ash Mopara is there and he has our back. He is coming every day telling us and he is living by his conscience. You know, made it clear, my conscience will not allow me to come out here and tell you about something which I know it will never happen. My conscience will never allow me to do that. If I knew from my heart of hearts that on passive will never ever happen, these things, I cannot even do it. I will be the first person to come out and tell you, go and continue doing what you are doing because there is no way I can achieve this. So let us be patient. If Ms. Ashmafara is not going anywhere, we don't need to ask questions or call the next person. Yes, it's good to chat, which is really great. But to say, oh, I'm disappointed, uh, is really negative. And when you build your heart out of negativity, what happens? Negativity will, help, will come from what you are building. And if you think it will never happen, it will never happen for you, not for others. You know, good things come to those who believe and wait patiently. You know, when you believe in something and you wait patiently, good things will happen because sometimes it is the belief that drives you to achieve something. And if there are times that you go for interview, job interview, you are not the best person. Maybe there are people who are really more experienced than you. But maybe because they came into that interview with little faith and said, oh, let me go and try. And you went to that interview with great faith that I will achieve it and I will get this job. What happened? You come out victorious. It is just belief that I can move this thing and it will happen. And that belief can drive a lot of things. Give that extra energy to Mr. Ash Mofara to deliver what we are expecting. Belief is really, really good. That's the only thing I will say. Let us always be hopeful in life. Even if we don't see it or the, 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 the future is really dark and you say, but where, how, what is happening? There are times people read a lot of things out there from social media, from other people who are really discouraging. You know what? Sometimes I shut my ears. And I said, I came into Unpassive on my own. I know I have the brain and the, 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 the eyes to see it. And the day I don't see it, I will shift quietly without telling anybody. But I will never go to social media. And it will not stop me from trying something else. Because the day you fail, it is the day you stop trying. Because people like to compare one thing or the other. That business fail and it happened it happen this way. The same thing happened to this because you don't even know on passive. You know, I like when I demise make a statement like the pyramid of Giza, you know, Egypt. They build it with strong foundation and it grows and it grows and grows. Sometimes those who travel to Egypt, they've been there. So my goodness, this people build it out of their own energy. There was nothing like machines. 
It was out of sweat and blood. Go build it. Because you are told to do it, not like you have a choice to do it. And they did it. And today, this is the one that's one of the wonders in the world. People build pyramid like this. On passive is coming up organically, you know, not like fake or you can fake it. You cannot fake something and make it. It will grow organically, you know, bit by bit, block by block, and everything will come up and we will see it and celebrate. So the only thing is, is patient. And I see you have told us is conscience, the conscience part of it. My conscience will never allow me if, I'm, if I know on passive will not work and I'm here to deceive you that it will happen. What will even benefit him? Because he's not taking anything from us anymore. Someone who have already collected will disappear without even coming again. But if he is still here, it means there is something beautiful, bigger, which we will not even harvest anything, everything out of it. It is enough for everybody. Ompassi will provide enough for everybody if you choose to be in. So, Andy, that's my conclusion, and I'll leave it there. Thank, thanks, buddy. I think one of one, one of the things that um, that I took from from one of the um, OP three sixties that that have not the recent ones, but um, some time ago, he mentioned about um, a negative thought and the fact that it takes 48 hours to get rid of that negative thought. Now, um, this may sound corny, but personally, I don't care because it's changed my life. Is Every morning I wake up and I make the decision before I get out of bed, I'm going to be happy today. I'm going to believe and I'm going to, to have fun. Every single day I do that, and every single day that I do those things, I have exactly that. I have fun, and I'm positive. Yeah, um, I, I walk around my village with an inane grin on my face because I choose to see the things that I like rather than those that I don't like. And it is simple mindset stuff, guys. It's not rocket science, but it has changed my entire life um, because... I'm happy, I'm positive, and I'm going to continue to be that because I know what's coming. So thanks, guys, for joining us again. Hopefully we'll uh, see you again next Tuesday. And um, uh, if there's any subjects that you'd like us to cover, please do make a note of it and send us a note and let us know. That would be great. We'll see if we can get a guest to come on. I know Mike Ellis was busy today. Red's on holiday. Robin Noble, unfortunately, I couldn't get hold of. So I'm sure we will have someone next week for you. But thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you next week.